Pretty Trades here, and today I'm going to be reviewing and giving my personal thoughts on PB Blaster Surface Shield. And for those of you who aren't very familiar with this product, what this is, is this is an undercoating. And the big thing that they brand this on and market this on is that it's a much longer lasting than some of the other undercoatings out there, like fluid film or wool wax, and that you only need to reapply it every two years. And this is a relatively new product from PB Blaster. They haven't really gone into the undercoating. Um, segment very much and the reason they made this is because there's been a big increase in fluid film and other undercoatings being a lot more popular and so I think they made this product to kind of compete with and kind of take a one-up on those products and say hey we have the best product in this line this is much longer lasting you don't have to use it as often and it will last longer so now the more I hear about this product the more I've used it and the more experience I have with this product Actually, the less I like it and the more I start to like fluid film. I've used fluid film for eight years and I have the longest running review of fluid film on YouTube and I cannot say enough good things about this stuff. And then when PB Blaster came out with Surface Shield, I started hearing a lot of really good things. It lasts really long. It's much more durable than fluid film is. It doesn't wash off. And while some of those things are true, the negatives definitely outweigh the positives. Here is my big problem with Surface Shield. They say you're only supposed to use it once every two years. So you apply it, go through the winter, go through another winter, then on the next year, reapply it. And while that seems like a good idea and it seems like it requires less maintenance and the blaster is actually quite a bit more expensive than the fluid film too. So you are saving money by doing it every third year or every second year. Um, than you would be with fluid film every year, but you're really missing out on a lot of the coverage. And what I mean by that is this. Blaster Surface Shield does have a lot of lanolin, which is the main product in fluid film, but it also has another component that is much more durable. It sticks on there and it basically hardens like a rock. Super strong stuff. And the problem is that the lanolin part of this product typically will wash away after the first year, just like it will with fluid film. And the problem is you need the lanolin every year to be applied because the lanolin part of this is what creeps. And that's what makes fluid film so good is that the lanolin creeps into all the little nooks and crannies. The hardening part of this doesn't creep near as much because again, it hardens up like a rock and it's not self healing. So the best thing about the fluid film is that it creeps and it moves around. It's a fluid film on your vehicle. And so if it does get nicked, if it does get wiped off for some reason, then the fluid film around it will put, go into that area to cover up the bare metal that's exposed so it doesn't start rusting. When it hardens though, like this one does, especially if you're on your second year, it's not gonna self heal like the fluid film will. And I, I think the reason that they do say and go for having a two year coating is a lot of people think it's better because they want less maintenance on their vehicle. They wanna spray it once and be done with it. Um, but you really do, especially with rust, rust never sleeps. And so you have to apply it every single year. It's the best way to stop it from starting in the first place. Some of the other negatives about uh, surface shield compared to fluid film is that the price is, it is more expensive. You also can only currently get it in the cans. Fluid film you can buy in a gallon jug and you can use a professional undercoat sprayer to spray it really quickly. The problem with these though is that they gum up and get clogged super easily. I've had them clog up only halfway through the can. So you lose a lot of the product and they won't spray anymore. They get clogged up because again, the product that's in here does harden so hard, it clogs them up really, really easily. And so you're wasting a lot of money on product that you can't get out of the can. And if you have it sit at all after spraying it, they clog up almost completely and you cannot get them unclogged. So if you spray like half a can and then you want to do a touch up later on, that can, once you start using it, it pretty much is done for. And then one of the other thing that's really annoying is if you get any overspray on anything, this stuff, you have to pretty much chisel it off. I got some on my paint last year when I was doing the test between surface shield and fluid film, and I had to use a credit card and scrape it off of my vehicle. It really, really hardens hard. And if you try to use lots of soapy water, it doesn't touch it at all. Fluid film, if you accidentally spray it somewhere you don't want, soapy water will get it off in a scrub brush, will get it off really pretty easily. But this, again, it, it cakes on and you have to scratch and scrape it off. So it's really, really hard to get off things that you don't want it on. It's a really, really difficult to remove product. That's kind of what they market it on, but again, I think that is one also one of the downsides of the product is that it hardens too much. That's why fluid film's so good because it doesn't ever harden. It can continually spread 
and reheal itself if things get chipped. If you are looking to purchase either of these products, Fluid Film or Surface Shield, there's a link in the description as well. I don't think Surface Shield is a really terrible product. I just think that there are a lot better options out there and for a variety of different reasons. Um, and I don't see any reason why you would use this over something like Fluid Film. There's just too many downsides to this and too many upsides to something like fluid film or wool wax. Now, here's a link to my long-term fluid film review, which I, again, I really love the stuff. It's worked super well on keeping the rust off. It makes an awesome barrier. It creeps up into the little nooks and crannies that you can't get to, um, much better than some of the other products out there.